Welcome to Scream Queens Horror Movie Road Trip Podcast. <coughs> bottom, bottom, bottom. <laughs> oh, happy 30th episode to us. Oh, we're turning dirty 30. It's our two year anniversary, our 30th episode. We're going back to where it all started, which was Ocean City, Maryland. For episode one, we did Jaws. So, episode 30, two-year anniversary, we're doing Jaws 2 and going back to Ocean City, Maryland. We're getting crazy up We're getting crazy. We go, <laughs> we're going to the beach. Yeah, we're... Right now, we're driving. We're in Maryland, and we're driving to the beach. We've got, like, at least another hour and a half ahead of us, so I'm glad that you guys are going to keep us company. We... We can talk about Jaws 2. Mm-hmm. We just crossed the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. It was beautiful. It's so gorgeous. We had some seagulls just... Yeah, some fly, Stefan seagulls. Some Stefan seagulls just hanging out with us, Flying gliding. With us. Those are birds. The water was blue. Seagulls. There were sailboats. It was oh, the, setting the mood to talk about was. Jaws 2. The sailboats were getting me. I was like, oh, we're about to talk about Jaws 2. And look at all them sailboats. And I guess we're okay. just letting you know right now, there are sailboats. Lots of sailboats in Jaws 2. Sailboats. They love their sailboats. all about a 1, 2, 3, 4, 25 sailboats. Yes. Or more. Or more. Yeah. We're really, I'm really excited to talk about Jaws 2. Well, Jaws 2 is obviously the sequel to Jaws, right? The 1975 <laughs> Steven Spielberg classic. Oh. Oh. You thought this was a standalone film. I thought that, yeah, I just, <laughs> I thought Jaws 2, T-O-O. Oh. Jaws 2. You just never looked at it. I did yeah. I guess I just didn't watch or it DVD. or any, <laughs> like, <laughs> when the title <laughs> comes up, I didn't see any of that. Wow. Okay. Well, well anyway, all right. Jaws 2. Huh? Jaws 2, directed stupid. by Gino Schwartz. <laughs> Gino Schwartz. Or something he like that. He is fresh. Yes. In case you did not know. He directed Somewhere in Time and Supergirl. Mm-hmm. This was kind of his, uh, what would you it say, wasn't his, his first big hit. Yeah. It, the, yeah. It, he had made some. Like low budget horror earlier like called it, bug right yeah but i'm going to say 1978 this is his like first like boom big budget horror look movie. at me world and did they have a budget yeah they had a big ass you know, budget before he's... the movie with jaws was even out of theaters they mm-hmm. were like we're having jaws too cuz jaws was making some money jaws was making what we call bank <laughs> All right. Is that what you call it? And they were like, guess what? We want to make some more bank, so let's make Jaws 2. <laughs> let's come up with a story to tell again about Jaws like, what about 2. A vengeful shark. Yeah. <laughs> so the movie starts with um, these underwater photographers and divers, mm-hmm. and they find the orca, the boat from Jaws 1. Quint's boat. Mm hmm. It's, you know, of course, sunk in the bottom of the sea. Yeah, and they're down there in the deep Take, blue sea. Looking at it, taking pictures. They're taking some selfies. And what do you think? What, do you what, do you th- what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Um, <laughs> I think they're going to cue that music and we're going to get da-da, some shark attack. Da-da, da-da. You get that POV of the shark. And this is kind of the only time you really get that because the director goes straight to showing the shark the rest. And it, that's how it had to go, though. I mean, well, yeah, you, we've you know, already been introduced to Yeah, the and shark we've already had and... the first movie where, you know, you didn't have the shark very much. So there's already been that kind of like that building the tension yeah, in that way. Yeah. We needed something else. So he was like, "Guess what? You're going to see this shark all damn day." <laughs> He's like, "Where?" Shark everywhere. And it's go- I'm fine with it. It's a good shark here, shark there, shark everywhere. And shark wanted to take a selfie. So what happens is he attacks those divers and the camera Hits, you know, Coral yes, Reef. takes a selfie. Conveniently hits Coral Reef and gets, like, a selfie of the shark, um, Bruce 2. Yeah, <laughs> and um, so then we, you know, get uh, another, we get another, we get another scene, but it's on Amity Island, and we get to meet our returning cast. Yes, we get... Roy Schneider. Roy Schneider. <laughs> uh, He's our sheriff again. Roy Scheider, but Scheider, we call him Roy Schneider. Schneider. <laughs> Roy Scheider. Okay, we got uh, Lorraine Gary, right? Playing the wife. Yeah. What's her name in the... 
Uh, oh, we should know. Ellen? That. I think her name's Ellen. Yeah. We'll figure it out along the way. I've written it down somewhere. Uh, Murray Hamilton, the mayor. So he's back. The mayor. So all those fun key people from last one are back. And we've got the kids, but they're grown or a little bit more grown. Yeah. Uh, one's a teenager and the other's, you know, like a 10 year old. A kid. Like a kid, you know. <laughs> A fun age of like ten. Yes, and they. Um, anyways, that we're on Amity Island, and it's uh, you get to go to the Holiday Inn celebration where they're having some scholarship and some foundation. It's it's. Uh, there's a girl in a bathing suit. She looks like she's 16 years old. She's just parading around. Yeah. There's, they're doing the the big thing in town is that Holiday Inn opening. <laughs> yeah, everybody in town and is Tina there. Tina is like, what, Amityville queen or something? She, yeah, she is decked out in her little ribbon. She has her little sash and her, her bathing little, yes, suit. Yes, and she got her itty bitty teeny weeny. Being objectified. Yellow polka dot bikini, I think. <laughs> um, yeah. So here we are, we're back again. Mm -hmm. And Every, Brody's showing up late because he's thing. got, um, you know, he's got a pass now. He's already had a time with a shark, and, and he's got some post-traumatic stress. Yes. And so it just takes him a little bit of time to get everywhere in life. And he shows up late, and then we get to see wifey again, and she's, she's all like, like... You're late. Act like you've been here. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> act like you've been here, even though you like walk straight up to the stage, and everybody would have seen you act like you've been yeah, here. Yeah, but act and, like you've been here. Um, so, yeah, and then we get some more of... Uh, Detective or Sheriff Brody being haunted by his shark pass. It's, He's, it's, it's all enough for him. longing shots of him just looking out to the ocean, just knowing like He's, he could still be out there. I saw him blow up. I saw him blow up, but that doesn't mean he's the only one. Yeah, there could be more. There could be more. He sharks. might have some pissed off relatives. And you know what? He couldn't be more right. His granny, granny shark out there. Yeah. Is so the, angry. His daddy and his daddy's 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 there. They're mad. And they are so pissed because little baby Junior Jaws was just going out one day in 1975 and he never came back. Yeah. It's like that little mother duck went out one day with her yeah. kids Over or the little hill. ducks Over far, the away. Hill and far away. The mother duck said quack quack, but Jaws did not come back. <laughs> and she was so sad. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. So. We get our cast introduction, and we are so happy to see them. There's teenagers, there's adults. This movie goes more for, like, the teen angle, though, Yes, at one point. we get Mike and his friends yeah, and a it lot. Yeah, focuses a lot on Mike and his friends. You could tell they were trying to capture that teen audience. Yes, and they were, yeah, there's only so much of Roy that we can have now, Brody, yeah. that we need to um, get some no, more attacks. You know, one of the coolest <laughs> characters from the first one, Quint, is dead. Yeah. And the so. body count has to be more. You know, it's the second, so we got to have more deaths, and so we need a lot of teens to fill mm -hmm. that in. And we get to know Mike and his friends. Let's feed those teens to the sharks. <laughs> Let's just get them, get them. Jaws 2. I'm just going to keep on calling the shark itself Jaws 2. Jaws 2. And Bruce, the Jaws Bruce 2. two. <laughs> and the Jaws 2 comes out of the water. The <laughs> okay, but okay, so we get this little fun montage scene of three things. We get the sailboats. We get to find out that that's what the teens do. And they have, oh, and they... He is filming the shit out of his, these sailboat moments in it this movie. It is water escapades. It's like camera sailboat work. porn. Yeah. It's like beautifully shot, but just like, we're having fun. We're fun teenagers sailing. Our Here boat. we are. I mean, like, you get to really know, like, what maybe a kid would have done out on Amity Island mm -hmm. in 1978, hang out with his friends. And, and there's all kinds of sailboats. I'd never seen so many like grouped together because there's like catamarans. And then I think I oh, looked you it know up. all your sailboats now. Well, no, I only know a catamaran. <laughs> That's why I said I had to look up the other uh -huh. ones. You is so mean to me on this wonderful Wednesday. Well, slap your face. He goes, slap me in the face. <laughs> slap me with a sailboat stick. Okay. So, yeah, there's all different types of sailboats, and um, then we also get this wonderful, like, parasail water diving guy who's, mm -hmm. like, got himself in, like, yeah, he's a like, sling. Yeah, he's, like, connected to the sail. They have the sail unhooked, and it's just, like, flying, and they're 
pulling him into the water, and he's yeah, like he's like lying using the around. sail as like a little carrier, cord but yeah. And, and and so we're thinking, oh my god, like where's the shark? Gonna, like who's the shark going to choose? And we've got some horny teens back on the island that are just off the shore, and they're all making out. And we've got this fem- badass female skier. She is just doing all kinds of tricks and shit in the water. We're like, okay, who's going to get it? Uh-huh. Well, we find out who gets it. Poor, badass female water skier. She gets it. She gets Jaws 2 coming right up underneath her. Jaws 2 comes and gets her. Gets her. And then gets the lady, the other lady in the boat that's pulling her. Yeah. It's a really cool scene. Yeah. It's crazy. And the old lady on the shore sees it all go down. Yeah, the old lady on the shore and the teens, they had been like seeing the water skier and was like waving to him, uh-huh. like the horny teens that were on the um, and then shore. And they go running to the old lady's house, kind of like for help. And yes. Like, They're like, oh my God. Sheriff Brody. Yeah, the boats exploded and like the so the lady who was driving the boat, I guess she thought she was going to light the shark on fire. Yeah, it's so bizarre. She just starts pouring gasoline everywhere and, like, pours it all over and herself. And she's a mess. Like, she <laughs> pours it all over herself. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And then, like, And then she has to the idea something. to take the, uh, the, oh, the lighting stick... The sp- the, not a, the it's not a, not a firework, but fire like it, if you're out in the middle of the ocean and a it's flare. Like a flare, yeah. And she lights it, and then she just lights herself on fire. Yeah, I don't get what she was doing with the gasoline. And, and she lit the shark on fire because through the rest of the movie, yeah. we see this like burnt, charred up like half of. Uh, so he's even sh- more pissed. Face. Yeah. So of course, yeah. He's like, okay, first of he's all, like, I'll never be a teen model. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> never be a teen model. Yeah, he's gonna come back battered and bruised. He he's a funny old Bruce too. Jaws yeah, too. Jaws too. Um, so he eats these ladies. He eats them. Um, some of them. And it just wets his appetite. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna come back for you guys, all of you guys. And um, okay, so next we have okay. Brody, um, f- there's some more teens that are, I guess, trying to make out. This is the next day. And they're trying to make out on the shore. <laughs> and they find a killer whale yeah, that has big, been... Big chunks bitten out of Chomp, chomp, just eaten. And you can really tell that they filmed this in a different location. Amityville, they shot in New England. This they shot down, I think, on the Gulf side in Florida. Yes, yes. And it just, it does have a different feel. Like the sand even looks different. You can just tell it's not the same location. Yeah. They do their best. Yeah. You can just tell. Yeah, you're like, that's not Amity from the first movie. Definitely not. Um, And here's this beached whale. All nibbled up, and Brody it, like comes upon it, and he's all like, "Oh, I know this was a shark." And he's got some lady, some zoologist, who's looking at the bite, and she's like, "Oh, well, you can't can't determine that." He's oh, like, "No, he's like, I know it's a shark, bitch." He's like, "Listen, lady, you don't know shit, let ho." Me, let me mansplain. Yeah, but he's right. It's yeah. like in this instant, she's almost just being like, "Oh, I'm 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 like, come on, there's a big ass bite out of this." killer whale who has yeah. jaws themselves like a it was a shark it por- was at least a shark yeah at least because then she's all like naming off the like genus species of the actual like great white shark she's all being like a elitist yeah no jellyfish caused that yeah oh fuck you bitch you just don't know nothing and so brody knows for, he's already a, a hundred steps ahead of everybody else like I wish all these bitches could catch up mm-hmm. catch <gasps> up stay up <laughs> or get left behind <laughs> catch up stay up um, so Brody is like you know what I'm gonna go to a man that should understand me I'm gonna go to a man who should know because he's been in these shoes before and he wants to keep this town mm-hmm. safe safe as can be I'm gonna go to the mayor and what does the mayor say? Oh, not again. Oh, the mayor is just his usual self. He is like, mm-mm. He's like, what? Don't need this. Brody, you can take your assumptions and shove them up. Your derriere. Your d- 
That was so sweet of you. You didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say like, like anus hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ass. Ass hole. <laughs> Sphincter. And so he's like, you know what? Fuck you guys. Whatever. I, I know what I know, and I know that there's a shark. These are the, verbatim lines that I was reciting. Why would you believe me? Oh my god, that was spot on. Yeah, that's my you Roy Scheider impression. You are really good. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, yeah, so Brody's like, okay, fuck you, bitch. Mayor, I, Mayor Vaughn, middle finger to you. And he leaves, and he's like, I'm going to take a drive along the coast. I'm going to think my heart out. Oh. And he sees something floating out in the surf. What is it? And what is it? What is it? What is it? Something. It's a piece of the boat. Oh, that's a piece of the from boat. those two char from like, charred ladies. From those charred ladies. Well, one, oh, well, one I guess of there's them only one up. charred lady. Yeah. yeah, one's completely eaten. We assume. Yeah, she's like, I cooked <laughs> myself for you, Jaws too. <laughs> and he didn't want her because he left her there. He's like, I like raw sushi people. Because I'm a shark. Yeah. I'm bloodthirsty. You just burnt up all that shit. <laughs> mm. -mm. Fuck you, bitch. He just left her out there. So, anyways, I guess she'd been holding on to the boat the whole time. And Brody pulls the scrap of that boat and up she pops out. I mean, she's just a little charred up and has he got little the, lady. Has he gotten that film developed yet? He from has the, the camera and he's he's going to be getting that developed. developed. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be getting it developed because, anyway, so he finds that dead body and he's like, all right. I know it's a shark. I don't know why the burnt up dead body makes him assume that it's a shark. He's like, but... she saw a shark and lit herself on fire. <laughs> this happens all the time. This is ex this is the same MO as usual. <sighs> and he goes home and he does what any sane individual would do. Masturbates. With, with, <laughs> <laughs> with that information, with what he had just found out. Well, he would, he's just thinking clearly. And he makes a whole bunch of cyanide yeah, bullets. Yeah, he's like going crazy. And he's, you're like, what's daddy doing? <laughs> <laughs> daddy Roy. Oh, yeah, just making some cyanide bullets. He's going to get that shark that no one yeah. believes is out there. He's like, I'm just going to stand, I guess, on shore. And I'm just going to shoot into the water and nobody's going to be around and that's just how it's going to happen and um oh it's going so he's, to be he's um yeah he's just going down this spiral and uh he even like snaps at his wife and snaps at his kids and snaps at his like teenager and is all like get a job like, so like I don't like this <laughs> yeah I don't like this Brody okay I don't like this Roy Schneider <laughs> um, the next day, he is up there. Brody's up there in that observation tower. Oh, and he's freaking everybody out. Like, people are acting like... One, I'm like, why is the tower there if no one's supposed to use it? Because yeah. his presence up there is driving the mayor it's crazy. Shocking. And his wife. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to sell more uh, real estate, basically, in yeah. town. To, like, you know, oh, the big wigs are in town. So they're showing them around the beach. And they are... Like crazy scared. They are crazy. <laughs> there's like yeah, you just have like all these like patrons that are on the beach, and there's this wonderful John Williams like montage of them all on getting the their beach. towels out. More you can hear that boats. music, and yeah, but everybody's swimming, having fun. It's just like this uh, wonderful beach, sunny afternoon. And Roy uh, Brody goes up there to look out for the shark, and everyone's just freaking out. Like, why is he up there? Oh, and the mayor's freaking out because he doesn't want the people from out of town to see him up there. Because, you know, they're going to know that means shark-infested waters. I don't get it. I don't get it either. I'm like, don't you usually have somebody in the observation tower? Yeah. Why like, is it a big deal if you have it in town? It's like when you draw attention to something that you don't want attention drawn to. Mm -hmm. why, why you do what you do, boo. Yeah. Well, um, so anyways, Roy sees something big and massive in the distance coming towards all the swimming Yeah, it's of the humongous. Beach. And he freaks out. He loses his shit. He's like, get out of the water! It's so a shark! He just starts shooting aimlessly <laughs> at the water. Gun happy, just trigger happy, man. Just spraying the ocean with bullets. People are flipping yeah, out. Yeah, the beachgoers don't know what to think. I mean, they're just like they're fleeing like, Our to shore. Our sheriff is going crazy. He is shooting up the beach right now. And of course, at this exact moment is when all of the bigwigs and the mayor and um, 
the uh, Brody's wife happened to like walk by. They're standing there, and she is just like, Go, "What the fuck? What is going on? You have made an ass of yourself." They're all really disappointed in him. Yeah, it does come off that way. <laughs> They're like all just like Brody, oh. and you know, so the city council that night Poor takes choices. away his badge and his gun. Yeah, and he brings to this, like, meeting that they're having, he brings the proof with the uh, yeah, he's pictures. Yeah, got, he's gotten that picture developed, and they're and like, we just, we don't see anything. I mean, it's like, it could have been a better selfie, <laughs> but, I mean, it's clearly, like, a big-ass fish Sharp. eyeball or something that you can see, so. Definitely. <sighs> I, I mean, big I ass just, big-ass fish eyeball, yeah. Eyeball. And then we have him going home. He's drunk. He's lost his job. And he just wants to go to bed. He wants to make more cyanide bullets, but... Yeah, like, pity him, please. <laughs> he is a drunk mess. Falls asleep. And the next morning, his sons decide, like, we're going to go out and sail again. Because that's what you do yeah, when you're... Yeah, a little sailing town. Yeah, and so they all head out to go sailing and... The kids' names are Mike and Sean. And there's, like, some new girl in town that everyone is supposed to think is really sexy, but to me is just, like, 1970s hot. Like, really oh. kind of... Damn. Not that cute. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sure. Yeah, she's, she's... She's fine, but she's supposed to be, like, like this yeah. girl from out of town that's drawing everyone's Every, attention. I, I understand what you're... Yeah, And I to me, she looks kind of like a plain Jane. Yeah, like, she's just, uh, simple. Believe. But I'm like, whatever. They must not get a lot of girls. In She's not, like, <laughs> voluptuous. She doesn't have, like, you know, the beach wavy hair or anything. Her haircut's actually pretty blunt and cut short. Mm -hmm. Boyish. You must and, say. yeah. <laughs> and she's not, like, tall. She's, you know, shorter. And, I don't know. She just doesn't look like... The other character, the Tina girl, the one that, like, was in the bathing suit, she's mm -hmm. kind of more the, like... What you think of, like... The hottie the kids in high in the, school, yeah. like... Hottie patati on the film set. Um, and so we go to a scene. Okay, so there's two things that are happening. We've got Tina and Eddie in their sailboat, and they tr they kind of drift off away from so all go, the other like, make out yeah. and do some they're heavy petting horny, by ourselves. Horny kids, and they are always like they're the ones that were on the beach and had seen the two ladies with the uh, boat and the yes. skier and everything. They saw the lady like. Catch yourself on fire. Yeah, they're always just fingering each other, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so they kind of sneak off. I don't know how they sneak off. They're all in sailboats, but they're somehow like, they just drift away and nobody's like, hey, guys. And they're doing, they're making out and heavily petting. Mm -hmm. And there's yeah. also. It appears to be all on top of the clothes stuff. Yeah. And there's also, <laughs> the sailboats are going by the these uh, this group of divers and the kids all know like a teacher that's on that dive boat and, they're like, uh, hey, yeah they're like catch us some good crab and he's like okay sure <laughs> and the divers all go down and the what the divers all go down on each other <laughs> <laughs> and um they it, they encounter jaws but nobody gets attacked or well they get attacked kind of the dive coach that all the kids knew is the one that kind of encounters him and he does kind of get bit but maybe just a little nibble but he ends up like going too fast up yes, up to the top uh, embolism yeah. yeah and uh so anyways he's bubbling the brain he's taken back to shore and that's actually who Brody sees and he happens to be with his wife he's like what's going on and he's all inquiring about that guy and he you know all of these things to him are just pointing towards a shark i don't really get how they <laughs> they're in denial they're like this is the best time of year we're gonna lose business it's always yeah. about the business they're gonna it's like lose. all these things in a matter of like hours you know this is just a couple of days that is going by like all this all this bad stuff is happening like and it's happening in the water you'd at least think like maybe we should just yeah, take it a, break. Is a shark well they don't um and so that's all happening and then tina and eddie having their little finger bang session yeah, when the worst happens. It gets interrupted. I like this scene a lot too. He has to pull those fingers out and they have to start defending themselves. On the <laughs> <top>. <laughs> he has to pull those fingers. She does too, right out of the, you know. And this. Whoop, and this. Um, <laughs> so, so he gets knocked out of the water. 
um, in the sailboat. The boat kind of tips or capsizes over, but then it ends up adjusting itself because she's still in it. Mm-hmm. But he falls out. He falls out, and she's like, "Swim, Eddie, swim!" There's a, like, and she sees the shark. And he falls out far away from the boat too. Like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's um, got to swim really far. He does right? have to swim far, and you're like, well, how, how, did you get out? Far, how far I, I away mean, did you I fall out of the boat? I need to re-see that scene, because I'm like, yeah, how does he get so far away when he gets knocked out um, of the boat? But, so he's swimming. This is a really good suspense And you see scene. the shark fin, you know, and the shark coming for him. Oh, my gosh. And, and she's screaming, Tina's screaming, swim! Swim! Oh, my gosh. And you want him to swim, and he's getting there. He gets... Um, right to the boat. Right to the boat, and he's pulling himself up. But and... Jaws 2 gets there at the same time. <laughs> Jaws 2 gets there, and he... the uh, Eddie, he rips a part of the boat off. Yeah, like he was holding on that tight. Holding on that tight. It was, it's a sad scene. She's traumatized. Oh, she's, she gets the shakes. Mm-hmm. She gets... The ugly cry. <laughs> she gets the shimmies and the shakes. <laughs> Makes the earthquakes. Um, yeah, so she, like, hides inside the rest of the sailboat. The sailboat's broken, and but it's drifting. So she's, like, hiding in it and very scared that the shark's going to come back. But I think the shark's a little full. Yeah. You know, he's like, uh... I can take a little break. You know, Make I, a little room for dessert. I was going to get the divers, but then... I could smell uh, your puss. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I came over here. But then he was even better, Mr. Wiener Man. And so I'm full. He's like, I'm good. But I'm going to be down here. So just hang out up top here, girl. Tucked away in your little sailboat. Just tripped. Yeah. Wait till you get fined by Brody and his wife. Yeah. And she's screaming. Like, she has this, like, she's like shock. <gasps> Make him go away. Go away. Yeah. She's loud. She's really scared. She's so. very scared. She's loud. And, um, oh, yeah. We've got Brody and them, and they've decided that they're going to take this, like, cop boat. The, they call it, like, a launch or whatever. But they're going to take the cop boat out to find all the kids yeah. because they found out that all the kids went sailing. But, yeah, Brody's convinced there's a shark, and now there's this person that's coming with an embolism, and they take the boat out. Now they found Tina and... No longer Eddie. And she's all like, "Ah!" (laughs) She's flipping out. She's flipping out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the hell out of that. Yeah, I hope that was a nice (laughs) shriek in your ear. In case y'all were going to sleep. Oh, here it is. I wrote it down. Brody and Ellen. So her name is Ellen. And And, uh, so we get Tina taken in by Ellen. Brody gets mad and what? He punishes Michael. Right, tells them you're grounded. No, the kids are already out there and stuff. Uh, and okay, that like, already that had way already happened. Yeah, when he was we like, skip that. Yeah. Well, Michael had gotten grounded the day before. <laughs> yeah, I think we mentioned that he like yelled at his kids and everything because yeah. he didn't have a job. But yeah, he had been grounded. That's why the kids kind of sneak out that morning because they don't want to wake him up. Because there, or at least Mike's grounded. But anyways, he's like, oh my god, my kids are out there in the water. This teen girl has rescue. said there's a shark. I gotta get out there. So Brody takes that. Boat. He's like, rescue 911. Here I come. Oh, wait, whoop, I whoop, am 911. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Does that sound pretty? That I thought sounded that sounded pretty good. That sounded really realistic. I'm sorry, it didn't. Um, okay, so now we have like this really fun scene coming up where all the sailboats get attacked. They, they're all swimming and having fun, and then the dude from Christine. Yes. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna have to go. Yeah. They're all getting knocked off their boats and they're scrambling. Yeah, and their boats are getting all broken and so then they're having like they kinda like tie they end up their having boats. to make a big raft together. Yeah, they tie their boats together because some of them still have sails on them, so if they can just get everybody They're like, Come on guys, let's rally and tether together. And they've got this shark just swimming around, knocking them around. And lots of extra rope. They came a lot, prepared. They do, yeah. I, I think that's a sailing thing, that you yeah. always have extra always have rope, rope on your boat. You gotta have rope. And, um, yeah, we've got we've got a couple people that are going to get bitten, and uh, we've got a, some nibbles going on. Somebody's getting eaten. Um, the little boy, Sean, uh, he's going to be kind of stranded on a boat by himself and mm-hmm. have to be dragged in. And it's really suspenseful because he doesn't want to move. No. I, I wouldn't either. He's also scared shitless. Yeah. And they're like, come on, 
grab the rope, we'll pull you over. But he is so afraid to even move his hand, afraid to slip, because he's sitting on a boat that's turned upside capsized, down, yeah. capsized. And he's afraid of slipping, falling into the water yep. again. And and we're, we're constantly <laughs> seeing this shark. They don't hide the shark. You yeah, see him a lot. He coming around trying to get bites of he people. He reveals his head, constantly coming out of the water. It's scaring the teens. And he has killed a few people by now, right? Yeah, he, yeah. one of the teens he's eaten, uh, Mike, he injured. Uh, he mm -hmm. got his head hurt. And so a couple of he the teens. He eats that girl and he eats. The dude from Christine, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. The kind of nerdy friend. He, uh... Okay, so we've got Mike, who... One of the boats... Uh, Mike, the older the, the older son of Brody, he gets his head hurt, and he's bleeding, and they're like, oh my god, we gotta take him back. So one of the groups of them t get in one of the sailboats that work, and they take him back, and they do run into his yeah, dad on the way. Yeah, and he's like, I'm sorry, dad, what's mm -hmm. his name, our little brother's out there. Yeah, and so he's like, okay, well, I You're still You're not mad go. at me, are you? He keeps saying that. You're not mad, huh? Are you they, mad? Uh, in the moment, no, I'm not, son, I have bigger fish to fry. Ha <laughs> <laughs> literally! Bigger fish. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, that was funny, because in a second, he's gonna do that thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he goes, and he heads out to... Uh, make his way to go find the kids. They're all drifting, and this is when the helicopter rescue thing oh, this is tries to hilarious. happen. This guy comes down on a helicopter, and he's trying to tether together. He's like, I'll pull you guys in. Tie this rope to my helicopter, and I will pull you guys to safety. Yeah, he's got it like, hooked up to his pontoon. Jaws 2 has different plans yet again. Mm -mm. He comes up and just starts chomping on the plane. The pilot falls in. He gets chomped. The blades mm -hmm. of the plane start just slicing the water and getting fucked up. Uh -huh. They break off, fly everywhere. The, the kids are scared they're going to get hit by the blades. Mm -hmm. Some of the sails get hit and get ruined that way. The helicopter is now sinking into the water. Yeah, so he literally does jump out of the water grabs a hold of the pontoon part of this helicopter and brings it He's like, into... you're coming with me. Yes. This is what we're dealing with, people. It's like, you know, he has motivation. He knows that that helicopter is coming to rescue them. Bloodlust bitch. That's what he is. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. like, oh no. Bruce 2, Joss 2. I'm going to stop you because I'm a true villain. I am. I'm dead in the eyes. Jaws 2. So now there's like even little... There's even less hope for the kids of Amity. Yes, and they are just drifting. There is, in the distance, um, this, like, cable junction. It's where the electricity for the island yes. meets. They set um, up an important point late, earlier in the movie, because this guy is fishing and pulls up this big, thick cord, and they're like, oh, send that back down. That's the electricity for the town yeah. going through the bay or whatever. Yeah, these, like, fishermen guys. Um, and Oops. that's that like yeah we so that comes again that's and gonna we, come back uh -huh, screenwriting so, 101 <laughs> so we see they're headed that way and brody's got an idea of what he's gonna yes. do the kids make it over there finally mm -hmm. he heads for them and more shit yeah the, the is gonna happen they get what the lat the girl gets eaten at this point and the shark just jumps it's like full on girl just goes right into yeah. his mouth girl gone girl Girl gone, yeah. Full She's on girl gone, gone girl. Gone girl. She, I um, mean, uh, and that's sad. Because she was getting, a, she had fallen in the water to help another person. Yes. And so, of course, like, no good deed goes yeah. unpunished. Nice guys finish last. Yeah, so nice she gets eaten. Girls get eaten by sharks. And uh, Brody approaches and he's like, you know, doing his shit, his little kung fu with the shark. And then we... He gets the idea about the electrical line that he pulls up from out of the water. He gets the shark's attention, and here comes the shark, and we get him coming out of the water again. He's all charred up. He looks really cool. He looks like a badass shark. And then he gets electrocuted. <laughs> and he's he fries my shark. He fries the fuck up. Like, they fry him. They're like, let's cook up some shark tonight for dinner. Who's hungry? But it's like this all-out battle almost at the end on yes. that, that island. They are going at it for a hot minute. He finally gets that cord up, gets it in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Mouth. On his mouth roof. Those jaws meet those. That cable. Yeah. Jaws 
Jaws 2 fucks himself up. Yeah, I I mean, I it guess was. it wasn't like, the electricity wasn't like maybe a jellyfish, you know, like, it wasn't, yeah. it was a little bit more stronger. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't stronger! So he got burnt at the beginning and then fried at the end. Wow. He is well cooked. He is. I wonder if he's well seasoned, though. He have some Old Bay on him. <laughs> some Old Bay seasoning. Um, okay, so the shark is sinking to the bottom of the ocean. He is... He's going to go join his her grandson. His daddy's 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 daddy. daddy, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and Brody and the kids and Sean, the little boy, and the teens, all they're all just hanging out at that little cable junction. And help will come. That's where we leave them is there the movie ends there at the end so we at least know that they towering up on the electrical rock or what's that place called uh, cable cable, Bay. cable junction cable junction yeah. yeah so we at least know that they all or the rest of them survived we've got some casualties and hopefully some help is on the way yeah yeah because ellen has, has made it back and she was getting help there's this really cool scene um in between all the fighting that's happening on that cable junction where she is screaming at the mayor you know, because yeah. she's like, uh, you know, you should have done what he told you to do, you know, per your use, Mayor. You, you just are always undermine my husband. A dick. Um, and so we hope that Brody, you know, he. I think he's time for retirement. Yeah, I think he's done. He's like, you know what? After Fuck this town. <laughs> big, huge Jaws, Jaws 1, Jaws 2. He's like, Amity I don't think I'm going to be coming back for Jaws 3D. I don't think it's going to be me. Um, he's like, Michael Caine will take over after yeah. a while. Yeah, and um, everything's going to be okay, right? It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. We're going to get through it. We'll have Jaws revenge, and uh, I think that's it, right? So, okay, we are very close. We bring, are so close. Bring closer and closer to the Ocean City. Maybe we'll see a great white. Do you think we're going to see a great white? I don't know, maybe. When we were here a couple years ago, there, when we did our first episode, there was a reported great white nearby. Yes. And uh, that like was a couple, couple days before we yeah. had gotten there. I was getting all scared, but uh, I hadn't checked. But we didn't meet him that time. No, maybe. and I'm okay with that. Yeah, I don't. You know, if we don't meet him, that's okay. Yeah. We did also see one of the shark, a little bitty shark, come up to the surf, and he kind of got yeah. caught in the waves for a little bit. But, again, that doesn't have to happen. Mm-mm. I'm okay with we just go swimming. knowing that they're out there. Somewhere. Way out there in the deep, deep blue sea. Away from me. And not next to me get my <laughs> leg or my body don't want or that my uh, uh, uh. jaws like six or whatever ain't gonna happen with me mm-hmm. ain't gonna happen with him hell no but we'll be back in just a little bit tell you about our trip we'll talk about our favorite scenes do knife ratings all that fun jazz tell you about all the fun seafood we're gonna eat because mm. you guys know we like to give you the rundown on the hopefully it's well cooked and well seasoned Old Bay, baby. Old Bay, Bay. <laughs> Old Bay, Bay. Okay, we'll see you guys in a couple sacks. Bye. Bye. Told you we'd be right back. Just two shakes of a lamb's tail, and here Hi. we are. <laughs> Hi. So, Josh. Oh, can I touch you? Can I touch you? Um, <laughs> is this real life? <laughs> is this really happening? So, we're leaving the beach, seeing Ocean, <laughs> seeing Ocean City in the rearview mirror is one of the saddest feelings in the world. Don't let go. <laughs> we had a awesome 24 hours celebrating Justine's birthday at the beach. Yeah, it was my birthday at the beach. And guess my what? birthday. And you know what for her birthday? Neither <laughs> one of us got eaten by sharks. I know, and we took a dip or two. We went dip, dip, dip in that Atlantic. We stayed on the boardwalk at this mm-hmm. place called the, what was it, Paradise Plaza Paradise Inn. Plaza We were Inn. on the 7th floor and we had a wonderful view of the beach and the boardwalk. The ocean. It was picturesque. It was awesome. It's beautiful. Um, we immediately went down and had our favorite French fries in the whole world. Oh my gosh, they're thrashers tasty. on the boardwalk. You 
put tons of salt and vinegar on them and you eat them just like that. You're going to have some ketchup too if you want, but that's oh, salt, salt and vinegar, vinegar yeah. french fries on the boardwalk in Ocean City. It's life. Changing. Life. Altering. Life. Oh, you didn't have another one? I, but, <laughs> yeah. I gotcha. Oops, I wasn't ready for another one. We went swimming, spent a couple hours on the beach. We always have fun in the waves. <laughs> and I might have been a little scared. Oh, anytime anything like brushes up against your feet or I'm just yeah. like, ah! Is that Jaws 2? <laughs> Not one. Two! Oh my gosh, that's Jaws 2! He's gonna get you! And then like we got out of the sea and we ate some sea. Oh we ate food. so much sea. We seafood. ate seafood. You know, I uh, ate Maryland's crab. Yeah, Maryland's known for its crab, so we ate tons of crab. Crab dip. Crab cakes. Crab balls. Crab balls. Balls. We had All some them balls. Lobster and scallops. Shrimp. And tilapia and shrimp and shrimp. all. The, all the seafood, guys. Seafood. So if you like that sort of thing, they got all of it in Ocean City. But and go, we had some amazing coconut like muffins. Coconut muffins, yeah. But eat all the crab cakes you can when you're in Ocean City. Mm hmm. If best. you find a coconut muffin, you should try it though. Yeah, eat a coconut muffin. And then um, later that evening, we hit up the boardwalk. On the boardwalk, boardwalk. We saw uh, a lot of haunted houses. Yeah, we went amazing. to two haunted houses. There's this really cool haunted house that's been there since, what, like the 50s, 60s? Yeah, like a million years ago. Like a million bajillion. And it is like a million bajillion it's old years school. old. It's old school. It's awesome. <laughs> like, they say on the entrance, like, we had some renovations, like in 2012. There was a part of me that was like, where are they? Because <laughs> we have been riding that. Uh, the first time I ever rode that was in like 2011. And you. It's been riding for since the 80s. Much longer. So. It's cr yeah, and so I'm just still wondering what Where? <laughs> part of it. Yeah, is but it's awesome. It's fun. It's like just it. pure nostalgia, pure like dark ride as they call it. Um, real fun. Dark it's, ride. It's like for kids, but it's Riding fun just to ride through. And then we went over to OC Screens, which is an actual haunt. Yes. And it's really fun. Great production values. They have. It's all water themed. Yeah, it's you know, kind of like you're, you're on, on like this boat that's sinking, yeah, and you're this trying to get out. Abandoned, yeah. And they have like some fun characters, like an evil captain that keeps popping up. Mm -hmm. and there's there's a shark. There's a big there's old a shark that jumps shark. out and gets you. You know, they simulate like you're kind of wading through water with like these big airbag type things you have to push through. <laughs> they. You know, for a second, I was over here thinking you said stimulate. Stimulate. <laughs> Sim. And simulate. I was like, he is nasty. <laughs> and no. Simulate. You are so right. Not stimulate. I'm over here Simulate. Being don't nasty. stimulate. Simulate. Don't stimulate. <sighs> something's always got to do with something. Though, something's so. got to do with something. But, yeah, we had an awesome, like, 24 hours. I ate yeah. ice cream on the boardwalk. Went to a bunch of haunted houses. Mm, we had the like ice cream that was vanilla and then orange. Mm. So it was like a dreamsicle in, yeah. in my mouth. <laughs> it was a dreamsicle in, in my, my mouth. mouth. And um, yeah, then we had to say goodbye. We went out and we gave it a big kiss. Oh, she like got all nasty on the beach. I might have went down on she it. She made love <laughs> to the beach. She's like, this is our final farewell. <laughs> gonna make love to you as I well. I felt, yeah, almost like I was going, you know, off to war and she was gonna <laughs> wait by the sea for me. <laughs> the sea. So like, the ocean. Okay, so <laughs> we're back at the car now, guys. So after she made raunchy love to the ocean, <laughs> we're heading yeah. back. And we did have some donuts on the beach, too. Yeah, that's kind of a tradition. On the Last morning at the bench. <laughs> <laughs> we walked all over that bench. You have to have donuts on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sign that says, uh, just kind of like, because Ocean City's in Maryland, but it's really, really, really close to Delaware. I mean, like... 
you, hundreds of yards away. Yeah, to go to like certain restaurants and shops Sometimes and stuff, you, you cross over into Delaware. Ride that line, you ride the state line. But yeah. Um, yeah, Delaware has a sign that says, Welcome to Delaware and all of our wonderful bitches. And we love to say bitches. <laughs> Welcome to Delaware and all of its bitches. It's amazing because, you know, that is not how people in Delaware speak, <laughs> but you know. it's how we think people in Delaware speak. Jokes. Jokes upon jokes, folks. So now so we had we're a great time headed. At the bench. <laughs> now we're headed to another place in Maryland. Yeah, we'll talk to you about that at the end of the show. Tell you what we got in store for episode thirty-one. Yeah, but it's just a long way, so we're gonna wrap this up. The and long, wrong way. The long, wrong way, and we're gonna talk about our favorite scenes. Give us uh, some knives ratings. So let's get down and dirty. Let's talk Jaws two. You know in. I would say my favorite scenes in this movie involve the teenagers, which is funny because in Jaws 1, Roy Scheider's character, Brody, I feel like is more compelling. I get they're trying to give him like this story with like his PTSD. Yeah, he had his haunted past. He's so on edge, but I, I don't know. I don't really buy into that all that much. The stuff with the teenagers and their sailing and having fun and getting eaten by sharks, yeah. that's always my favorite stuff, but in particular... I would say my favorite scene is the Tina scene on the boat when her... The Tina and Eddie scene? Tina and Eddie when he gets eaten. Oh my god, when he gets dragged yes. as he's holding on for dear life and rips... Pulls the board, the boat. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Eddie. Like, R.I.P. That was a rough scene. And she's yelling at him to hurry, Eddie! Like the tension is high yes. in that scene. The tension is high. There's some good like Water blood. Water. There's some good water blood. There's some good water blood in this movie, Hey, guys, man. I don't know what you uh, know about water blood. <laughs> There's a lot of good the water newest, blood. It's the newest movie coming out, Water Blood. <laughs> water Blood. Actually, Water Blood 2. We'll just get to the sequel. But this movie's got some good water blood, y'all. Yeah, it's got some good water blood. So, <laughs> all right, so you're going Tina Eddie. Tina, Eddie, water Tina, blood. Tina, Eddie. I'm going, I'm going the lady skier scene. Oh, that's got okay, some good water so blood. It does have some good water blood. And it also, just like, okay, because there's a lot going on in that scene. And you also think, like, is Jaws going after the lady skiers? Or is he going to go after these, like, parasailing Do you think Jaws is too? homophobic and he's going wow. after the lesbian skiing couple? In this movie. I feel like Do you think that's... that's a huge assumption of a lot of things. <laughs> uh, I'm, of course, the one is that you think that Jaws 2 knows the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's also that you assume that the two women are lesbians well, because there's they're. There's nothing wrong with that, of course. Oh, I. Duh. What? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Can we move on from this? Yes. I do not think that Jaws 2 or Jaws 1 by that. Is homophobic? No, I'm not okay, going to. Because, I mean, that would just be awful. <laughs> well, I guess we don't need wasn't... any prejudiced shark. Oh movies, my gosh, yeah. Okay? Out of everything in the world that we. We don't need it. Need, yeah, we don't need that. All right. Okay, I'm going to go, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I've already said it, yeah. Years. So, yeah, it's just a, an amazing scene. It's got scene. some good water blood. <laughs> and and it does have this, you know, I mean, I'm going to include the scene where she, like, lights him on fire. And then we yes. have our, like, <laughs> yeah. half-burnt-up shark yes. the rest and of the... she lights on fire and blows up. Yeah. Because I imagine that a, a fish lit on fire kind of chars the same... Like, you know, like a person, but they're always in the water. Uh huh. I like that look a lot. I think I'm gonna go for that. You're gonna go for it? I'm so gonna go for that shark look. Shark, burnt shark it's look. It's gonna be your summer look. That's my summer 2018 look. Burnt shark. Burnt shark. Look out, I everyone. Love Hashtag it. burnt Beers. shark. Burnt. So. I think you're gonna be totally on trend. Mm hmm. I am. Burnt shark. That's the 411. <laughs> Bird shark. Okay, so our fa those are our favorite scenes. Thanks for listening. Lots of good water blood. Water blood. So what are your, what's your knife rating, Justine? We're going knives ratings now. Okay, if we're going knives ratings, I'm going to give it a 3.5. Oh, really? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going two point oh, five. You, oh, you're going two point five? I thought I was being generous with this three point five. You are being generous. Yeah, with that like, three point five. You, no, I, I'm like borderline being, a three. Okay, because I feel like maybe a three. I is enjoy a, it. Well, yeah, because it's a Josh. It's Josh. But it's not Jaws 1 by no. any, and that's what? No. And that's, that's a five. That's a five. That's a five that's fiver. It's, it's not in the realm, but you've got to save room for Jaws 3D, you know, when you're giving these knives ratings. <laughs> well, that could get even worse than a 2.5. I know. Ooh. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to go no, 2.5. No, I, I'm I enjoy it. I'm not trying to get you to change it. Oh. Change. Change, change, change. Almost a three. Can I go like 2.75 knives? No, I'm just kidding. 2.75s. We are just. All right, I'll stick to it. I'll stick to my gun. 2.5. 2.5, and I'm. Out of okay. five. I don't think that we've ever done an entire point. I think that's my difference. lowest rating, too, ever. 2.5. I mean, Jaws 2 is fun. I like it, but yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it uh, for its water scenes. There's a lot of, like, shooting on the water that it's happens. It's fun. And... It's fun. All right. All right. You're trying to... No, I'm not. I'm not three, trying to... Five, three, three, nine. I have not changed... <laughs> Let the record show that I have not tried to change his mind. I am merely discussing this film. I'm on the fence. 2.5 to 3. Yeah. Knives. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Get off my back. Put it down, <laughs> sir. Put it down, sir. So now what are uh, we doing? Well, we're going to head over and have a little Baltimore adventure soon. Baltimore adventure? That's going to be episode 31. You'll hear that soon. We're going to go do some Edgar Allan Poe sightseeing, go to his grave. We're going to try to get over to his house and do some fun stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do... Roger Corman, Vincent Price's Mask of the Red Death. You know, they did that whole Mask string of... of the Red Death. You know... Oh, shit, back in yeah, the first season. They, That's, we're gonna Roger explore, Corman was famous for it. We're going to explore that a little bit. So, talk, stay talk, tuned. Talk. Um, we'll be back in a few weeks with episode 31. Uh, thanks for sticking around with us. I'm so happy we're celebrating our two years. Two years. We took it back to where it began and we Ocean had such City. a fun time for yes. episode 30. It's been amazing guys. Check us out Please. ScreamQueensPodcast.com We're on Twitter Instagram. We're on all the sites. It would really help us out if you could give us a little review on iTunes that the mo more reviews and ratings we get the more it helps people find us. Yes, and we appreciate all of your support. Yep, love you guys. You guys are the greatest. You're the reason why we do it. Yay! Stay tuned. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Happy anniversary. Bye. Yay.